हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड अस्सलाम वालेकुम वेलकम टू माय चैनल आई बी ओल्ड डिजाइनिंग डेवलपर माय नेम इज इंशाल बेग एंड टुडे आई विल शो यू हाउ टू बिल्ड एन अमेजिंग प्रोजेक्ट यूजिंग नेक्स्ट ईयर्स एंड दिस वीडियो विल बी रियली हेल्पफुल फॉर यू सो रिमेंबर टू सी दिस वीडियो फ्रॉम स्टार्ट टू एंड सो यू कैन लर्न वन टू वन थिंग अबाउट दिस वीडियो एंड आई होप यू विल बी यू आर आल्सो एंजॉयिंग माय प्रीवियस वीडियो व्हिच आई हैव अपलोडेड लाइक प्रीवियसली वी हैव जस्ट बिल्ड नेटफ्लिक्स फॉर व्हिच आई हैव अपलोडेड एंड आई होप यू एंजॉय दैट लाइक हाउ टू बिल्ड अ नेटफ्लिक्स टू यूजिंग ओनली नेक्स्ट ईयर्स and we have included some of the like css but not the tailwind one previous uh, css which we used with the html and i hope you all enjoy that all things and today video will be really also helpful for you and you will be learning things of next year from today video also so remember to see this video also from start to end so you can learn one to one thing about this video and if you are new here learning things from this video so please hit the subscribe button share this video with more people and other people which you want to share so they can also learn about these amazing things and skills which we are giving to our channel and i hope you are enjoying all the previous video you can check that out like 10 minutes review which i have uploaded because that will give you help about next js means if you want to learn next js and i have also uploaded the next js full tutorial you can check that out to learn more things about next js and to full, become full stack developer of that so just now i hope you understand that at all things and now we will be starting with our project so like i'm telling you we will be just building an amazing project using next js and this video will be also really helpful like previous videos are really helpful for you and i hope you will be learning things from this video also so now we'll be starting with our project so before starting my project i will be opening my vs code text editor in which we are working with previously on so i'll be writing vs code which is the short form of that and then i will be opening that so you can install that from google or you can download it from google or any other browser you want to download you can see i have opened new window now here i will be uh, opening one folder which i have already so here I, if i show in my local disk app you can see there are many folders created like project 13 project 11 we will be using this folder if you want to create folder so you have to install node js first of all in your pc then you have to first of all select the location where you have to create your folder then you have to write this command npx create next app because we are working with next js if you are working with react js you can write npx create react app but now we are working with next js so i'll be writing npx create next app then give space and then you have to write your project name you can write it project dash 11 because i am creating this one now when you will be pressing enter so it will be creating your project and you have to wait a while till it is created so here when it will be created so it will be showing you now you can see this is the folder here i will be dragging dropping this folder in my vs code you can also do like uh, you can cop you can just directly go to file you can open you can press open folder and directly you can open it from your uh, vs code or if you want to drag and drop that folder so you can also do that now you can see we are getting some of the things here in our folder so here when you are getting this thing now simply i will be running my uh, next js app here so i will be moving to my terminal you have to wait a while because now your terminal will be running and it will be opening that now you have to write npm Uh, run dev. This is the uh, and it is the command to run your next JS app when you are working with next JS. And if you want to uh, uh, run your React app, so you can write npm start. But now we are working with next JS, so I'll be writing npm run dev to run my next JS app. Now I'll be pressing enter. Uh, so it will be taking some time and it will be running my next JS app in my default browser which I need. You can see it is running. You can see there it is written started server on localhost three thousand. So it will be starting server on localhost three thousand. But if you are using two next JS app. Uh, together so it will be opening on t uh, 3000 at one local host so here i'll be opening my default browser which is called opera if your default browser is google chrome or you can say any other like microsoft edge you can open in that so i have opened my local host 3000 you can see we are getting one header so you can write these commands here which we which i have told you in previous videos you can check my previous videos of next js and you can learn how to write these command and how to work with that now when you are getting your folder which you have created from your command prompt then you have to just do some of the changes here like you have to do index.js like this layout.js like this and footer.js we have to create one components folder also here so now i have created that all things and you can see these all things are totally empty now you can put some of the images or videos here so if i write video tag then you can just move underneath this video then you can write source so here you can write source uh, and then Uh, you can write media is equals to then you can write your video name or uh, thing which you want to write and you can write dot mp4 so here you can just write this thing then you can define the path where you have put your folder and you can work with that so here when you will be closing this so it will be giving you the thing like you want in your video so here when you done that just you have to give it space then you have to write uh, muted 
or you can say first of all i'll be writing auto play mute it like this then you can give space and then you can write some of the things which you want to write here so here uh, you can put the video tag like this and you can use the video tag to uh, to make the videos here so now in next just like this you can put the videos and other things which you want to put now you can put images also which i've telling you in the previous video how to put that so we will be using iframe tag here and in this iframe tag you can write anything like that or if i write and if i save this so you can see one iframe we are getting here and here you can see this is the frame we are getting in this frame you can write like if i write p tag here like this if i write one p tag and here in this frame you can write any simple lorem with some random text that's it and you can see now we are just getting nothing because now we have put nothing in this iframe now we can move forward then you can set uh, here the class name or the context menu which you want to set here so you can set it class name and you can set it to container if i do that here simply so here if i save this you can see now it is looking like this now you can set some of the other things also in that so it can uh, it can make more good looking so you can see we are getting one iframe tag here so like this you can use this iframe tag now you can copy this here and you can paste it same on footer.js space save here you can see one iframe we are getting here also now paste it underneath this uh, means in header tag so here i'll be moving in this header you can see we are getting iframe at the top so here i'll be moving to my layout.js file and you can see it is totally empty so you can put here underneath this div tag so paste this save this you can see one iframe we are getting here also so like this you can put these all things and you can work with this so we are getting header written here in this so you can copy this header if i copy this and paste it here means save here you can see header is not coming because in iframe tag you cannot write the tag so today we will be learning how to use iframe tag here save this you can see now at the center we are getting our text now you can set this iframe uh, with your own self you can set its width or height you want to set like if i set its width it should be 100 save this you can see width is changed into 100 and if you want to change its height so you can change height to 200 save this you can see height is long and the width is small if i do it 200 and then if i do it 100 you can see now the width has been set here also so like this you can use a iframe tag now there are many other tags also which you can use in nextjs but today i have shown you how to use a iframe tag and this was the simple project which i have shown you you cannot say the project today we have learned how to use a iframe tag using nextjs and i hope you understand and you can also set its width and height by your own self like uh, how width and height you want you can set it by your own self so today we have learned how to use iframe tag using nextjs yes, and i hope you understand this video if you have understand enjoy this video so please hit a like to this video if you are new on the channel hit the subscribe button share this video with your friends and family members so they can learn about these amazing things which we are doing with nextjs yes. and now i will be doing up more other projects of nextjs yes, which will be really helpful and then when we'll be covering up nextjs yes project we'll be moving to on other language also so you can learn that language is also which we'll be doing in future so I will be also bringing up big projects also like clones with Next.js and React.js and I hope you'll be enjoying that also. So I'll be meeting next project so for today. Good. Bye.